What is good with y'all boys, man? Ruthless DK back here with another NBA 2K22 My Career video. Requesting a trade is harder than ever in NBA 2K22 because they wanted to tie it into the story, which is kind of cool, but it's kind of confusing and frustrating because people are wondering where can I request a trade? And if you're like me and you got drafted number one to the Pistons, then you're ready to leave because they are just not very good. If you guys pay attention, Listen to everything I say in this video. Make sure you watch the whole thing so you can see these cutscenes that you need to be looking out for. I promise you're gonna be able to request a trade before you know it. I'm trying to speed up the process here. So anytime that this tells you to play your games while you're waiting for your agent or for the media, just simulate. Just simulate your games one by one and we'll get more into that later. So when you get your first career start and you come back to your apartment this is what you're going to see watch this video from kendrick perkins he's going on a rant about you so that's the first thing you're going to do to start triggering the trade request rumors hey y'all i gotta talk about this interview mp gave to my boy frank valentine first of all nice scoop frank you did good here second of all I told y'all, this relationship is doomed. Dirty laundry in the press, finger pointing, complaining. Speaking of which, now I'm hearing MP wants out entirely. Does this surprise me? How do you salvage this relationship between him and coach after all he's done and so publicly? I know I wouldn't want this YouTube star on my team after all that. I hate to say I told you so, but if the shoe fit, wear it. This was a bad idea on day one, and it's a bad idea today. If I'm Harvey Lesser, I cut my losses and trade this kid immediately. He's not worth it. Hey, look, man, we need to talk about this Kendrick Perkins report. What about it? Look, Perk is a big personality, but he's not a straight-up liar, so... Look, I need to know if there's any truth to this. Do you want out? Look, I don't know where he's getting all this from, bro, but I ain't say nothing to nobody. But it's true. I mean, I've been thinking about it, yeah. Well? Well, this, this ain't the first place I want to go to anyway. You know, then you got all that drama, and I'm just starting my career, bro. This, this just don't feel right, man. Like a gut feeling. Yeah, like, like that feeling you get when you're about to do something so stupid. <laughs> yeah, like when you tried to dunk on your dad in seventh grade. He fouled me. He didn't. Look, my point is this. I, I feel like that when I think about staying. Bro, I only feel good when I think about leaving. That's, that's the honest truth. So you want out? Yeah. You mad? Mad? Dog, this is your career. No, I'm not mad. And everything you're saying is right on. I mean, you didn't want to go in the first place. It really hasn't been the best situation, and sounds like you just want a fresh start. I think that's fair. Okay, so what we do now? Well, lucky for you, I already made an appointment with your agents. <laughs> I did that when the rumors broke. I figured they were just going to tell you to weather the storm, but I mean, now that you actually want to leave, I guess I'll go with you. Hey, look, we can figure out a strategy. We can get on top of this thing now. Yeah, that's why you pay me. <laughs> May throw you in a little Christmas bonus, too. <laughs> yeah, I won't say no. I appreciate you, Rick. Anytime. So after that cutscene there, it's going to tell you to go play your next game while you wait to hear back from your agent. Ooh, I'm thinking Vietnamese tonight. By me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, good game, man. So what are you trying to... Uh... See, that's what I'm talking about. What was that? He'll get over it. Look, Rick, this supposed to be business. That look personal. Well, you know it's both. Well, you telling me you wouldn't be mad if he asked for a trade? Bam, all I'm saying is that's his life. He can do whatever he want to do with his life. Okay, that's all I'm trying to say. It's also his team, MP. So, yeah, you want an out? He going to take it personal. Y'all making this harder than it's got to be. What, you thought it was just going to be rainbows and sunshine? Is that necessary? You whatever you're about to say is unnecessary, Rick. Look, you got to snap out of this, right? 
This is only gonna get more intense from here, and I don't need you doing nothing stupid. Doing something stupid? Doing something stupid how, bro? You already stressing out because your teammates mad at you because you asked for a trade. If this is really what you worried about, you really gonna have a harsh reality. I, I, I get it, fam. It's, it's all just moving faster than what I expected. That's all I'm trying to say. Well, let's hear now, man, so put your big boy pants on. <laughs> like those JNCOs you got in the eighth grade. <laughs> That was a phase, and I was finding myself. <laughs> in a giant pair of parachutes. You know what? You said you weren't going to bring it up again. Well, don't you? Hey, that was the last time, I swear. Woo, you look like a clown, bro. So, you seen Jeremy Grant ignore me in the tunnel. In order to get that cutscene, you want to play your very next game after the Kendrick Perkins rant. So, the cutscene that we just watched with Perkins, and then we was talking in the apartment, we played our next game. And what happened was Jeremy Grant ignored us. We kind of thought that was weird, but Jeremy Grant had heard the rumors. So, after that cutscene in the tunnel, you're going to want to simulate your games until you hear from your agent. This cutscene here that's coming up is me finally hearing from my agent, and I actually get to pick the three teams that I want to get traded to. Hey, look, that's the right there. Hey, don't say nothing, don't. Man, I got this. Okay. The elusive Miss Barry. How y'all doing? Oh. No, I gotta say, it is truly a pleasure to meet you in the flesh, Barbara. Miss mm, Barry, I like this one. You're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling him he's adorable. You think he's like suave and sophisticated. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You're hey, adorable. I, like I mean, even the name Ricky. Oh, come on. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, no offense, Barbara, but, you know, I just... I don't think that you're my target demographic. Okay. Yeah, I think she would know. Now, I believe there is some business to attend to. Yes. Yeah, MP's desire to find a new basketball home. Mm, player empowerment, <laughs> here we go. All right, um, so first, you need to let us know where you wanna call home. Okay. How about we start with your top three preferred destinations? So, you're going to get to choose your top three trade destinations. Now, I'm going to let you know, more than likely, is going to be the first team you pick. So, make sure the first team that you click on is actually the team that you really want to go to the most. Okay, okay, that's what's up. All good choices. So, what now? What's the approach? We could take it slow. Make sure the front office feels comfortable about how things are developing. Or as comfortable as they're going to be. Yeah. Yep, given that Harvey's pet draft pick just demanded a trade. Okay. The other option is we apply pressure ourselves. Ooh. Speed up the process. Hey, look, honestly, I'm not against speeding things up. You yeah, know? We're, we're a little worried that the long game might tarnish MP's reputation. Right. Oh, let's speed things up. Let's press it. Negotiate through the media. Leak preferred destinations. Make it uncomfortable for them that you're still there. Mmm, the James Harden maneuver. Mm, it's effective. It might damage your rah-rah team first kind of <laughs> image, but hey, that's not you, right, MP? Look, I've been a team player at every level. Maybe, maybe it's time to take a pause. Exactly. They have not done right by you. And if they're not sure about you, then they need to send you to a team that is now. Look, y'all, I just want this to run very smoothly, okay? What, what does this look like if we slow it down? I respect that you feel that way. Empathy is in short supply these days. Thank you. But you don't owe the organization anything. You didn't pick them. They picked you. That's not the way things work in this country. Most people get to choose where they work. And it's only right that those options are available to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, but I like to help out where I can. That, that feels right to me, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, we're also concerned about the brand ramifications. We're worried about that, too, yeah. Well, we can work with Harvey on that one. But you're going to have some awkward days coming up. I, I just want that. you to understand. And be the bigger man. You know, acknowledge what's happening in the press, but don't give out all the gory details. OK. Besides, that wouldn't be becoming of a gentleman like yourself. <laughs> and don't talk about where you want to get traded. That'll dry up your trade market real quick. And Harvey will go from a slightly jaded ex to a sworn enemy. Copy that. Plus, it'll label you. I mean, not that we can't deal with a rebel image. We could do that in our sleep. 
but that's not what you're going for, and you don't want to send mixed messages. Makes sense to me. So, what are you guys thinking? Here's where I'm at. I got to get out of here, and the sooner the better. Then we go ahead first, right? We create drama. We are going to give you the career that you deserve, the career you've earned. We're not going to let somebody else define you. You are your own man, and the whole wide basketball world is going to find out. So we have officially requested our trade. Now it's another waiting game. It's going to tell you to play more games while you wait to hear. Go ahead and simulate your games one by one until something new pops up. So finally, they wanted me to go talk to Harvey Lesser, which is the GM. Break the news that you really do want to be traded. And they say it's going to be awkward because he's the one that, you know, said that he wanted you. I gotta say, MP, I feel like I've been hit by a truck. After everything I've done to get you here and make you feel at home. How is it exactly that you want out this early in your career? This isn't a good environment for me to develop professionally or personally. Mm, yeah, how is that? Because this just isn't a healthy environment. It's just as simple you as that. You know I don't have to trade you, right? Do you really want to go down this road, sir? If you negotiate this in the press, it will kill your reputation. Do your agents tell you about that? Yeah, my team is aligned 100% here. Aligned. Okay. You'll have your trade soon enough. In the meantime, try not to get injured. <laughs> Come on, it just don't have to if end this way. If I have anything way. else to say to you, you are going to hear it through your representation. You understand? You know what? Well, I'm so sorry you feel this way. I really am. After your talk with the GM, it's going to have you go straight talking to Ricky. Yo, yo. So I just got off the phone with your agents, and they want me to set up an interview with Candace Green. It's your turn to set the narrative. I'm not going to lie to you, man. I'm kind of nervous. Well, as you should be. You're about to go on national television and complain about your boss. Now, I don't want you thinking that you're doing the wrong thing, because you're not. I mean, you got the right to work for yeah, whoever you want to yeah, work look, for. Look, I hear you, Rig, but that's a lot of eyes on me, bro. Yeah, that's why you make a lot of money. Facts. Facts. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Candace Green, she is respectful. This ain't going to be no Frank Valentine situation. Yeah. I mean, all you're doing is applying a little pressure. Respectfully. Mm, you make that sound so easy. Respectfully. Well, I'm sorry, are we in the easy business? Because I could have sworn it was the NBA superstar slash music and fashion mogul business, but I don't know. All right, all right, I got you. We got you, all right? Look, just do your little manifestation, visualization thing, and just picture yourself killing it. You right. You right, I got this. Yeah, it's cool. I got this. Bet. So I'm going to call Candace, set up the meeting. I'll put it on your schedule. Appreciate you, bro. Anytime. So after you talk with Ricky right here, it's going to let you know again, keep playing NBA games until they set up the interview. So it's another waiting game, you know what I mean? Finally, after you simulate a few more games, you get to go meet Candace and do this interview. Hey, Candace. Hey, good to see you, MP. So thanks for reaching out to me, and I'm honored that you've chosen me to talk about this. Oh, look, I respect how you approach things, and you were the person to tell this story. Oh, I appreciate that. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, so there's this rumored list <laughs> about your preferred trade destinations that's circulating on social media. Is that a legitimate list? Yeah, it's true. Hey, I told my agent where I wanted to go and to get me there as soon as possible. Look, I need to be somewhere where I'm appreciated for who I am and not for who someone else wants me to be. It's just that simple. Okay, well, any concern that going public with your trade demands might alienate the fans? <laughs> not really. Look, my real fans, the ones that's been with me since day one, they ain't going nowhere. Now, some of these bandwagon cats who wasn't looking at me anyway, I don't worry about them. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Anything else you want to share with me today? Um, I think that's good for today, don't you? I think so. I got plenty. Thanks so much, MP. Hey, look, I'll see you soon, Candace. All right. So the meeting with Candace is over, and it's going to let you know the same thing. Play more games until you wait for the trade rumors to subside. Simulated a few more games. 
Now there's another Kendrick Perkins rant they want you to watch. Oh, do we have big news today <laughs> in our basketball world is that our old friend MP officially wants out. We knew this thanks to an embarrassing interview he gave to Candace Green of the pin down. Not only did he confirm that he wants a trade, making this way too public, but he talked about where he wants to get traded. This kid is an embarrassment to the game. What have you done to demand a trade this early in your career, MP, and then make it all public like this? You're making it impossible for your GM, who overruled his coach to draft you, by the way, to get a good return for you. It's an embarrassment, plain and simple. But what do you expect from this so-called YouTube star? Not about the game, all about the fame. Carry on. So after the KP rant, it's going to say, keep playing NBA games till you hear back from your agent. Finally simulated a few more games, and now my agent has some exciting news for me, so we're gonna go check it out. Yo, you guys heard that new navy blue mixtape that just came out? Nah, man. It any good? Oh, it's Come heat. Come on, Hampton. Bro, I know you didn't bring us in here to talk about a, a navy blue mixtape, man. I'm not in the mood for this today, Ricky. I know, I know. Hey, is he pressed? I'm not pressed. He's a little pressed. Well, you, my friend, will be very delighted to hear that it is official. You're out. You serious? Where we going? Oh, come on, man. Think Barbara would send the YouTube star to anywhere but his top choice? Wait, wait, so so we're good? Oh, we are more than good. <laughs> Let's go, baby. We out of here. <laughs> yo, yo, I hey look, Hampton, I appreciate you, man. Seriously, thank you. Come on, man. It was a team effort. <laughs> we had to call the big guns in on this one. Hey, and Barbara is no joke. She got it done. So what about Harvey? Is he gonna try and make our lives miserable now or what? Well, he can try, but there's not a lot he can do at this point. Now, you should know that this will come with a little light character assault from the usual suspects That's from, cool. you know, social and in the media. But this agency knows how to handle the controversial personality things. That's what's up. Yeah, I mean, I love it. Congrats, MP. <laughs> you going home. Yes! So we're officially traded, but there's still one more thing Ricky wants to talk to you about. It's kind of crazy how similar this apartment is to our last one, huh? Kind of freaked out, to be honest with you. <laughs> Don't be freaked out, man. It's just called interior decorating. Bro, even the, the layout's the same. Everything. Dog, you know that, like, three companies build all the high-rises in the city. It's not that crazy. This is depressing, bro. The sameness of it all. What is this? Depressing? What, are you an architecture buff now? I just would like a little originality, homie. I'm not trying to be controversial. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Is that what you want me bro, to say? Bro, I'm just saying, are you good? Like, are you anxious? What's the problem here? Look, anxious ain't the right word, but... Look, you got a lot of eyes on you right now. And after everything that's happened, I mean, this trade is a huge story. As it should be. Look, just go out there and put your best foot forward tonight, all right? I don't need you turning it over and bricking shots just because you're trying to prove a point. If you do, the media will bury you. Is this supposed to be a pep talk, bro? It's just the truth. Yes, you have fans that love you, but you've also got a sizable group that hates all that you're about. And if you don't deliver, they'll make sure you hear about it. Ricky, there's always pressure, bro. This is why I get paid what I get paid, okay? I got this. Stop sweating it. All right, man, I just, I want to make sure everything goes great for us. That's look, all. Look, you did the manager thing. I right, sit back, take it easy. All I got to do is hoop. Yeah. yeah. And if you play well enough, maybe we can get you a more original crib on your next contract. <laughs> you don't think it's something with some penthouse vibes? Yeah. It'll look different. I promise. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, man, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 10K. Turn the post notifications on.